Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Uh, Richard back here again with another unboxing video and today it's something I've been waiting for for quite a long time. Uh, it's the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray limited edition of Drive from Second Sight Films in the UK. Um, had this limited edition booked for many months uh, and it's just turned up. Um, yeah, can't wait to get into it. Um, so let's have a quick look around the outside. Bought this direct from Second Sight Films themselves. Always try and patronise the stores of the publishers if they've got them. Um, and if you might have seen on my Twitter feed, um, Philip Escott. Um, was heavily involved in this limited edition over two years worth of work he mentioned so let's get this open and see what it's like okay so here it is unboxed and um, it's quite a large set this so try and take it back a bit so you can have a good look at it a uh, nice shiny box. There's the open side. The top. The bottom. The spine. Uh, let's have a look at the back. So, special edition release presented by Second Sight Films and the director, NWR, NWR um, UHD and Blu-ray presentations of the film and special features, new 4K master produced by original post-production company and approved by NWR, it's presented in Dolby Vision by the film's original colourist. So hopefully we'll have the right tint on this one. You'd expect so. Uh, Dolby Atmos Audio. This soundtrack, if mixed right, will sound amazing. New audio track with NWR and the Guardian film critic Peter Bradshaw. Okay, and in this inside this special limited edition set, we got a 240 page book with new essays. We got original storyboards and behind the scenes photos and the original novel and seven collector art cards. As a look at the bottom, looks like the Blu-ray is region locked to B. But of course, the UHD disc is region free. OK, as I said, huge fan of this film and love the soundtrack by Cliff Martinez and the score. Just just brilliant. Everything's just uh, brilliant about it. OK, looks really nice. Imagine if that was embossed. Mm. Okay, so slide it out. Heavy juicy box as you would expect to carry this weight because there's quite significant weight with this set. Let's put that over there. And this is what it's like when it's opened. So nice presentation. Drive on the side, yep. Yeah. Okay, so We'll start from the right hand side and work our way to the left. So if we take this out and then move that over there. This is the housing for the discs. So watch face on the front, nothing on the back. And inside we have disc art. So 4K on the left, Blu-ray region B locked on the right. Look at the disc, 
it's a dual layer 66 gig disc so they've not given us a 100 gig disc for this one that's the housing behind if you wanted a closer look and the blue right should be dual layer as well 50 gig yep Okay, and that's the art in all its glory. Okay, next up, we have the art cards. These are very glossy. So there's the first one. Brian Cranston. Good cast in this as well. I think this is the definitive version of Drive to Own. I've owned quite a few over the years. Not as many as a good friend of mine from Norway. Shout out to you, mate. Okay, they're quite nice okay moving on we get on to this beast of a book wow this is this is nice yeah a lot of detail in this if you forgive me I won't be showing you every page let's have a quick scan Pink front. The Second Sight books are usually pretty good. Um, got quite a lot in the collection. Um, quite a strong supporter of Second Sight. They do some excellent work. Got quite a good uh, Arrow collection and a Second Sight collection. If you want to pause it there, you can do. That's a list of what we've got in this book. Some nice um, photographs, not in uh, full glossy colour, um, quite a nice um, take on it, which goes with the style of the film really, looks quite good. And the storyboards, yeah, it's quite a nice, um, quite a nice package this, well worth the wait. Uh, if Philip said it was two over two years, um, it's been worth it. Yeah, the definitive version, I would say. And then we're back to some glossy photos at the back. So it keeps everyone happy. Yeah, very nice. And then at the end, some more information. Great, they've managed to put some stuff in about the music and sound. Great, it always was a good soundtrack uh, from the opening tune. Yeah, just superb. Own it again on vinyl. Uh, many, many copies. Same as my mate in Norway. Um, such a good soundtrack. And some acknowledgements in there. in on that and it's great to see David McKenzie from Fidelity in Motion uh, is listed uh, again they do a lot of um, mastering work and quality control um, usually when Fidelity in Motion is involved you're going to get a good disc um, and here they are in the production credits so yeah I've got no doubts this is going to look as good as it possibly can 
um, when they're involved. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Okay, what have we got next? Okay, we have the original novel. So, brilliant. The only thing we haven't got in here is a, a CD or a, um, a vinyl. Um, but I have got those, um, got the CD and another release as well. So, that's great. So, that's that. Such a great release. I hope you'll agree in the comments below. Um, I hope you will like this video to show you you like this package and this presentation. Um, before I go... Um, as I said, huge uh, drive fan, so got a few little items which go with this um, collection on my shelf. Who can forget the Future Shop slipcover, um, the iconic jacket, um, such a good release, uh, worthy of going with this um, collection. This is the UK Icon Productions Steelbook, which I still think today is pretty good. Nice, simple approach, nice spot gloss. Um, yeah. Such a good steel. Next, I have the Finnish uh, slipcover. Really like this release. Um, it's got a 7.1 track on it as well, if I, if I remember rightly. Yeah, 7.1. This was my go-to version for watching the film. Uh, now it will be this one. I will do a video review. Um, just wanted to keep this to a unboxing video today. Um, such a nice, cool slip, that was. Um, next up is a Digibook. Can't remember what I got it from. It might be... No, it's not the Czech Republic. Um, Hungary. I think this was the Hungarian Digibook. Uh, that was such a nice, nice release as well. And finally, the Nova Steelbook. Outside of its housing. It does live in the housing. I've just taken it out to show you. So, such iconic, um, which came with some goodies. I've got many others, but these are my pick, and my favourites. So, can't wait to give this a spin and give it a review. Um, but if you like this sort of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, it really helps my other videos out a lot. And uh, please give this a like if you can. And comment down below if you like this movie. Um, yeah, just um, such a good version. Really pleased with the packaging. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks again. Goodbye.